Nah. Welcome back to Couch Spades, and I, I, I have a horror s concept in my head right now. Okay. Oh, I thought it was a button at first. <laughs> What's your horror concept? Playing this game in VR. I don't know. I think it could be really cool. Could I mean, that's fine. Maybe? It, it, it might be cool. It just gets me a little like, not, not uneasy, just, I wonder how this would work. Like, would you just be the camera and you would, uh, yeah. Like, how do you keep it from being barfy? Yeah. How do you keep it from being barfy and how, like, or are you the princess and you see, are you first person view? Yeah. That, that's where I'm like, oh my or God. Or is it more of a VR experience where you just kind of look at it's on one of these levels or something? Yeah. yeah. That'd be very interesting, actually. I don't know if I could do it. Also, I don't, I don't have the right dongle for it. Eh, not with this TV. Oh, not with this PlayStation. True. But I mean, we've still got my PS4. Uh, true. Okay. Well, I figured I would try this way. I've also assumed that I actually needed to go the other way. <laughs> That's fine. I because and it, it's really because of you. I do the same thing now. Like I, I will. <laughs> okay. uh, Please I Please appear. Please appear. Thank you. Yes, it'll be after this episode again. Like, you're gonna get a lot of behind the scenes stuff because that's usually what happens mm -hmm. when, we, when we just kind of hang out and talk. And I, that's what I like about what we do. What's that? John is getting comfy. Sorry, I, I had to readjust myself on the couch. John uh, is getting comfy. You know that he's about to launch into something big <laughs> when he's over here getting comfy. Because he's just like, mm, we need to have a talk. We need to have a talk. No, I'm, I, it's The not. talk is coming. <laughs> no, it, it's more fascinating to me how you and I have influenced our each other's gameplay. Yeah. And how that works. Because then, like, for me... Uh, oh. It's okay. It's okay. I just want some of the squares. We're good. For No, no, no you're fine. Uh, for me, it, it's... I, I explore more now. Yeah. And really, like, thanks to Persona... Yeah. I slow down. I love her landing. And do all that stuff now. Like, I, yeah. I was... I grew up... Like, and that's like, like, I grew up playing video games where you just run a gun and got to the end. Mm -hmm. that, that was the design of the games. And I still mostly do that. Right. But now it's kind of... It's I, understandable. I, like, I, I love games. I love the experience. And I'm, I'm really turning into the idea of getting the best experience out of said game. Just do it. You know you want to. Yeah. Yeah, I do. 100% want that picture. It's so gorgeous. I did. Well, I thought I might be able to make it, but no. Um, which is actually really funny because um, I think that we've mentioned this before, but just a quick recap. Uh, so John and I have decided that we both want to play Persona 5. So what we've started doing is he and I play it on our separate PlayStations yes. at the same time. So we are at about the same time in the game. I give up on that. <laughs> I don't fine. blame you. I understand. <laughs> uh, so we're playing about the same times, uh, getting through the same story beats, uh, yelling back and forth at each other to help us through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Uh, it's really interesting to n do it that way. Um, but it was really funny because at the very beginning of N Persona, when we first started, uh, I was just like, man, John's a better player than me, so let me set this on easy and let me kind of run and gun the first few beats because RPGs have a lot of cutscenes at the very beginning, uh, this, that, and the other thing. So I wasn't exploring yeah. as much. And then I realized that I was ahead of you. Uh huh. And I came back and watched you play for a little bit, and I was just like, oh, wait, he got some information that I didn't because he was exploring. <laughs> I need to slow down. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. Like, I, and it's probably because, okay, time out real fast. Roll back, roll back, come back to me. I really keep on coming, keep on coming, keep on coming. There's a pillar on the right side. Oh yeah. I need to know what these three are about because it's the same like loading screen logo on the bottom right. 
only yeah. reversed and yeah. I, I or upside down and i just i'm like what does that mean i have no it, it, idea it's kind of getting me getting into my head like what does this mean but yeah what's, what's in the box what's in the box what's funny though is i i did the exact opposite uh -huh. And I was like, I know Rose is going to explore <laughs> just a shit ton. So I'm going to have to slow my ass down and explore <laughs> everything and take my time. Yeah. So Which I, is I, what I'm now doing. Yeah. We, we, thankfully, I'm glad you are because it, it's it's very interesting to be. Uh, oh. Did I get enough? Teacher. Oh, nice. Oh, oh that's cute. But yeah, just trying to keep pace with each other. Keep, yes, keep pace with each other. And we're just like, I'm on this day. Because that's how Persona 5 works. Uh, you play through the various days and everything um, so yeah, as a high school student. Yeah, so we're, what, about a day apart? Yeah, I think I'm one... No, I think I played to the end of the same day. Okay. Uh, but you went through the dungeon, yeah, which I, is I, called a palace. I, I'm in the next palace. Yeah. Uh, no, you're... We're about the same oh, place. Okay. But you went through it the day before I did in game. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. And, and it's it's interesting just to do that with each other. Yeah. In a very co-op, non-co-op way. Yeah. Like it's very much a single player game and we're not trying to change that. And we both realized that this is a game that we want to experience for ourselves. Yeah. And not necessarily try to joke our way through it we it's also because pretty much we also, streaming and recording yeah yeah because we also know uh we've heard from many of our friends that it's a very dialogue heavy game yes and we are and we want to respect that people who like to talk if you can't tell wait we talk i guess so we talk a little too much sometimes what we've heard? Uh, what are you looking at, little kid? He's throwing a paper airplane. Oh, okay. Mom is not very happy about it. Could be mom. Could be stepmom. It's not really clear. Yeah, it's really not, is it? Because the lady that's pregnant on the beach is a brunette. She's a blonde. Or blonde. No, I think the no that lady is the little girl. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, we're exploring her memories from when she was a child, I think. That makes a lot more sense, actually. And the little boy is her brother. Yeah. But where's the little girl here? There she is. Huh. Because, yeah, she's just kind of always watching. Yeah. Okay, here's window. Let's see if we can clear up some of the outside. Just the balcony. Just because it helps me organize it in my brain. <laughs> okay, so she is also throwing an airplane. Yeah. But yeah, like they're knocking things over with these planes and just causing an absolute mess. And mom is not so happy. Okay, so here's all of this. So where's my door now? Where am I going? There is where I'm going. Okay. But yeah, just like memories with her own mom yeah. as she is about to become her, become her, a mom. Mom herself? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. At least that's my guess. Yeah, it, it, it's it's very interesting too with this Persona Five thing that we're doing is how close of play styles we actually are, especially with decision, the decision based, decision -based yeah. play styles. I was like, oh, we're almost beat for beat. Yeah, like we'll hit a point and like one of us when I know that John is ahead of me, then I'll get to a decision and be like, what did you say for this? Yeah. And he says it, and I was just like, yeah, that's exactly what that's, I was going to go I with. Said. So it's, it's pretty. So I then we have to decide, like, are we going to go with the same answer? I usually do, just because 
I'm just like, well, this is. That's how I would pick. This is how I would pick it anyway. Exactly. So. So it's yeah. kind of one of those, like, if that's what it is, then might as well just go with it. Yeah. Yeah, it... Between that and just, like, I, I'm trying... I'm actually playing the game... So cool. uh, like you said, sometimes I, I choose the decision of what I would choose, and then I choose the decision of maybe what the game wants me. Yeah. To find that, like, What right, the person wants to hear. Yeah, what the person wants to hear, or what yeah. the... Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. As... The main and the main antagonist, or protagonist, protagonist, which I named Rin because I had to look it up. I, I didn't know what to name him, so I just named him Rin because that's his name in the I was Persona a, Five. I was a complete and total nerd, and I named my person Rosades, <laughs> just means I am Rose. <laughs> so I'm Deskrin. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That, that, With my very elementary Japanese. That's uh, pretty damn cool. Yeah. God, I love this game. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're Sorry. fine. It's just, it's so cool. I love this slide through the end of the level. It's so, it's just a really nice recap and very fulfilling way to show where we've been. Yeah. You were saying about Persona 5? I don't know. I got sidetracked. Sorry. No, 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 no. Because it, it, that's something I, I I enjoy from like games too, where it's like, all right, this is, oh God. How, how far you've come. And it, it's very nice to actually see that. Yeah. Um, Hi, hello. You okay? You good? You happy? Are your kids doing what you want them to? Okay. I, I think that's going to be a I no. I think that we're just supposed to go this way. Oh, no. Uh, I doubt the kids are doing what mom wants them to. I'm, I'm going to be absolutely you know, honest. You know, I understand that. Okay. Made it through another level. Let's walk a little further down this beach. Now that it's raining. Oh. I'm sure it'll be fine within the game. The rain will not impact things. Now, if only it would make us study better. <laughs> Sorry, another P5 reference. So, okay. I know we were talking, you, you said something last episode about like video games and decision making or how it's kind of influenced life. Uh huh. What What is a game that has done that for you or to you where the game changed maybe not a, like a pillar a foundational concept of life but, but more something just that's like resonated but yeah resonated hard with you you're like oh okay <laughs> um not being so scared in my decisions really because in a game like in a book I can go through and I just have to follow the story. True. In a movie, I just have to follow the story. Mm-hmm. In a game... You're active. I'm active. And it's not easy to go back in like... Like it was when I was a kid and I was playing the Choose Your Own Adventure games. Yeah. Or the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Mm-hmm. Um, in a game, like, you have to commit to your answer. Yeah. And like, sure, some games are short enough that you can go through and play it again and see what the other answers would have been. But child, yeah, it's kind of nice to. Sorry. One day your kingdom will come. Will it? I'm tired of wearing mine. Oh. Have these beads. Hey, mom, your pearl necklace. Wow, didn't even see her disappear this time. Jesus. Okay. Um, but yeah, just knowing that I get to take control of my decisions mm -hmm. and yes, I have to live with the consequences, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. And it's helped me be more self-assured about the decisions that I'm making in life. That's 
not at all what I was expecting and really <laughs> freaking cool. I, I didn't expect you to go that route. I, yeah. Because I, I had no idea, to be absolutely honest. I was just like, I, I wonder what you would say. Yeah. And the, the decision making process of that. I, and I, but it's funny to it's not it's understandable because that's a lot of people's fears. Yeah. Including mine is just, am I making the right decision? Yeah. I mean that that for me it's. it's so yeah, just video games have kind of resonated that this is my decision, this is my life. Yeah. I get to live with these consequences, but just because I choose wrong sometimes uh -huh. doesn't mean that it's the end. Yeah. Doesn't mean that I have actually chosen poorly. You've chosen poorly. Yeah. Um, what's up? I think I glitched the game. I think you fell off. Also, I got confused by the camera. Oh, oh 100%. And it seemed like it flipped you around and you started going backwards. Yeah. Or, yeah. I'm not sure which way is up or how to get anywhere. Oh, oh, ribbon. That's not even close, nope. my bad. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh. I, I'm trying. I believe you. But I'm okay. It had pity on me. Or not. I, let's try this way. No, this is where I came from. Yeah. I'm so confused. Just so you know. I am officially confused, but I think I maybe got it now. There we go. How about you? What is something that you have learned from video games or that has resonated with you in video games as I die? <laughs> <laughs> um. I like her little rebirth animation. Oh, God! Easier said than done. That, that's a good question, honestly. See, here's the thing. John mm. was not prepared for me to flip the question on him. I, I wasn't, and I was, <laughs> all at the same time, because yeah. I, I knew I'd be talking about it, too. Yeah. And I just, I... I can't tell if I'm going backwards. I'm not. Okay. I like your decision making. Please do not be intimidated by my answer. It can oh, be no, no. something ridiculous no. and funny. No, 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 no. You're you're fine. It, the decision making one actually makes a lot of sense, and I'm like, oh my god, I think I, like, I I understand that because it, it's kind of weirdly the same one for me, uh -huh. but just it, it's more. Well, I think what video games have done for me is weirdly enough solidified my personality and my character and mm -hmm. of of who I am and I just I go with it yeah so it's like so basically decision making so basically decision making yeah I, I just it's one of those like I I am at a point in life that I I am comfortable with who I am it's been a little years like that but yeah I'm comfortable with yeah. who I am and I, and I choose to I think I'm good what? I think I found a shortcut there I don't know and, and, and to freely choose whatever I want uh huh and just and just go with it and it, I guess it is close to decision making like yeah I would rather slight differences. Yeah, slight differences. I would rather just go and do it than like regret not doing it. And that's how yeah. I've always been. But for for reasons unknown to myself, mm -hmm. doing that in video games yeah. has helped the real. Oh, you could have just gone right there. There's a ribbon that would have taken <laughs> it's you fine. up. 
Sometimes I get the shortcut. Sometimes I take the long way. Yeah. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah. Oh, I know what it is. Hmm. It has helped with my decision paralysis. Yeah. That's that's a more succinct way to put it. Yeah. No. No. I yes. Oh. Wow. That just that just gave out. Yeah, it did. Okay. Which I mean. With how everything is in the world now, decision paralysis is Andrew. It's, yeah, I jumped too early. It's everywhere. Oh my God. What do you want to eat? Well, I don't know. What are my, dis what are my choices? And there's too many. It, it, like we. What the? Okay, I'm good. I'm good. It's fine. It's fine. There's no problems. I'm just going to dance my way out of this and then I'll jump. It's fine. Yeah, we just, we literally have too many decisions. Okay. okay. I'll be okay. Okay, go to the right where the brown is sticking out a little more. I don't think your jump is long enough with all these things attacking you. And it, it, it goes with like Netflix too and video games in general. And, and the food and movies yeah. and books and like we. All of us are lucky enough to have the amount of... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's definitely a first world problem. Oh, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it, it, but just just having the amount of content that we have... Oh, oh. oh. ...to consume on a daily basis, like, blows my mind. Yeah. I think it's still... There's a billion hours of YouTube content uploaded. Yeah. Every minute. Yeah. And here back before the printing press, you could have read every single book in the world within your lifetime. Yeah. But now there is literally too much to consume. Like, it's its own problem. So yeah, it, it, it's it's funny that way too because especially I mean, just life in general gets busy and you're like all right I I really want to sit down and for us play this game yeah oh oh wow that, yeah that gave out too and the concept of that is just all right first question where are we playing it yeah. Well, what does that mean? Are we playing it on YouTube? Are we playing it on Twitch? Are we playing it for ourselves? How do we balance that with our 40 plus hour a week jobs? Yeah. How do we balance these things? How do we make sure that we have time for ourselves while also making time for our projects and yeah. everything that we want to get done? And so it, it, it's, it's, it's a beating. Yeah. Like, I'm going to say this because I've never been able to say this to you. Mm -hmm. And you say this to me all the time. And I, I'm so happy that I can say this to you now. You <laughs> can't let go of your controller. <laughs> <laughs> the amount. And, and you're right. It, it, yeah. it's, it's really funny when you can't. And you're like, oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. It happens. I had to scratch my nose. But yeah, just everything that everyone's trying to do. Yeah. And... It's insane. Yeah, like it it really is overwhelming. It, it is 100% overwhelming. Like So just knowing that I get to make the decisions of what I spend my time on mm -hmm. has been so freeing to me. Like I'm just like I'm going to do this. I'm going to commit to this. And I get to be okay with that decision. Yeah. Like, it's fine if other people would choose something else. And that's fine if that's the best decision for them. Yeah, exactly. That's not necessarily the best decision for me. Yeah. And that's okay, too. It's going that way. Okay. 
really have no idea what that means. <laughs> the screen's gonna be picked up on our mic. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. it's really loud, actually. Imperative. So if you got a little echo, my bad. Yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah, hey, oh, come on. This is difficult. You know what this reminds me of, and if you know if you know, is there's a part in Demon Souls that is very much reminiscent of this. Uh-huh. And thankfully, Zach, my, my sister's boyfriend, showed me through it. Uh-huh. And I had to do it by myself. Not in a bad way, but just because I think he had to go pick up my sister, actually. And so I had to do it myself. But yeah, it, there was yeah. like this giant or this dragon and that you had to wait your turn to like mm -hmm. go through it and that's exactly i'm like oh hey demon souls uh, I mean, flashbacks oh my god i mean yes but this game there's also no damage yeah well uh, yeah yeah it's it, very nice yeah that's a very odd angle yeah um is there something over here no no, no. okay it, it's just, like you got stuck behind one of those pillars. Yeah. I just wanted to make oh, sure. Weird. That's cool. Ah, uh, life in video games. Yeah. How we learn from each other. Seriously. To hopefully be better. That's the hope. Okay, that's just more of the room. Cool. No problems there. I'm gonna just go through this walkway and find another picture. Hey, Mom. You're being hugged? Maybe? Should clear up here in a second. Or okay. not. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm still gonna, like, try. <laughs> I got to. Oh, here they are. Oh, bunk beds. Cool. Bunk beds can be fun. I don't no. like where this is going. Hi, Dad. I don't either. Sorry, I look, I look at dad and I'm like, Jeremy's calling again. What? The Pearl Jam song, Jeremy. Oh. Never really listened to Pearl Jam growing, growing up or when I was young, whatever. <laughs> I never had a Pearl Jam phase. There. That's one way to say it. Okay. Oh. Okay. I, 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 what I'm about to say, please, please don't think I am a dick on the internet. Hopefully. I actually kind of like the idea that it was the mom that is causing this riff and yeah. not the dad mainly because it's always the dad it's in, always the it's dad. always the dad and the mom's so, always painted in, in the good in the light in, in, as the in, good guy yeah and so this seeing it from the opposite and it's, that's it from it's still very true to life yeah it, it, and it, like contextually we don't know yeah for all we know dad found mom found out dad was cheating and she lost her shit that yeah. that is an understandable Could be reaction to a lot to, of different things. But just from what that was, it, it's very. I, I find it very interesting and very almost weirdly risk taking. Yeah. That from that from that little scene, it looked like mom was done with dad, and dad was not prepared for the onslaught. You ready for this? Fly, my love. Fly. Do this. Fly, you fools. And yes, it is fly, you fools. It is not run. It is fly. I don't care that no one can't fly. It is fly. Fly you is fools. in flee. I know. Oh, I know. But someone doesn't. 
I know who you're talking about, uh -huh. too. He is talking about a specific person, so uh, if that's you trying to take it literally, um, uh, sorry. It's an expression. English has a lot of them. They don't always make sense. It's kind of like it's time to away, but where? Just away. Yeah? <laughs> it's just time to away. So cool. So satisfying. But yeah, just the idea that it's not always dad who's the bad guy. Yeah. Like, it's something that, it's a truth. It is. It, it, <laughs> it is a truth. That, it, that's it's the thing. Just, this is how it is. For better or for worse, it's real. Oof. Okay. Just check in immediate vicinity. Okay, there's mom. Okay. Mom is reaching for brother. Brother. Okay. What happened with brother? We'll find out in a little bit. I guess so. <laughs> Okay, it's still raining on the beach. Yeah, I think you're on I think you're right with her being the little girl. Yeah. yeah like where is this story going? It's got little puzzle pieces all over the place yeah. and nothing is for me truly connected yet. I think it's just Looking at her past. Yeah. Reflecting. Yeah. All right. Actually, how many more levels do we have, do you think? We have uh, this one. One, two, three, two or three. Okay. Uh, two, maybe. Hold on. Let's sit yeah. here for a second. Oh. So we got an X there. Yeah. And do we have an X here? Okay. So yeah. two, because that last one doesn't give you an X. Okay. Unless it's those two, and then so, this final one. Yeah, so. and that's the thing. It might be just that one has to be last. Yep. All right. Oh. What? Oh. She's tearing out the pages. They're going to end up as a family. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Yeah, there's the other. Yeah, because the sun is split. The split. And, oh, so what? Okay, what if each one of these pages is the riff and the concept of getting rid of those barriers? Yeah, reuniting the family. Reuniting the family. Could be. I'd be cool. I'd be yeah. down with that. Yeah. Well, come back next time. And we're gonna find out. Yeah. See you later. Bye.